If someone asks, do you have free will? The first thought is, okay, well, what's free will? Well, well, I don't know. That's a tricky question. <laughs> I used to ask myself this question. Is there such a thing as free will? Free will is tough, you know. But as soon as you start thinking about it, you suddenly realize, my God, I haven't thought about this before. What do I really mean by free will? Ever since the pre-Socratics, we've had the problem of free will. The history of the debate has been labeled determinism versus free will. If these atoms follow the deterministic laws of nature, how could there be free will? So the atomist Democritus thought that if determinism was true, then there had to be these random swerves. But that would just be chance. How could free will just be chance? In the most recent thing, it turns out to be neuroscience. A lot of these tests, they do show that many of our decisions are made before we are consciously aware of them. You can predict up to 10 seconds before a person is consciously aware of their intention by basically decoding brain activation. If we didn't have free will, you have no right to judge anybody morally. What do we do about dangerous criminals? Can morality exist on the position of no free will? How in the world does the immaterial mind affect the physical body? How does the physical causality work? This tends to be a debate that actually does hinge a lot on semantics. Most people don't think about this. Determinism, physics, biology, upbringing. Where did it come from? Our fundamental beliefs about what a human being is rely on what we think about free will.